What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. I know it has been a while. 2020 was not a year of content creation as far as YouTube went. Like talking to camera videos like this, but you know, if you have been around for a little while, you saw my short films get uploaded, a couple trailers, a couple little commercials, maybe a wedding or two that I put up. So uh, here we are, 2021, and we are going to be changing it up. Changing it up. We are gonna be changing it up a little bit because I told myself that I wanted to do at least one video per month. So here we are, first month of the year and knocking it out at the very end of the month. Never mind, but uh, we're doing it. If you're new here, my name's Carla Forden. I am a Vancouver-based actor. Been acting for a few years now, but in the recent years, I found myself behind the camera as a filmmaker, as a DP, as a cinematographer, and as a director. I've been wanting to make this video for a while. I am going super unscripted, and uh, this is probably going to be a mess, but thanks for hanging out anyways. Um, so today, we are going to be talking about the best affordable cinema camera bag where you can have your rig fully built and still be able to transport with it. You know, no more putting the seatbelt over top of the rig or, or, or breaking it apart and then getting to set and putting it back together. This bag will help you transport it, fully built, V-mount battery and everything, and um, just be that much more efficient so that you can get right to rolling when you get to set. So the bag that we're gonna be talking about today is a shape camera bag. Um, I'm gonna be pulling up my laptop for the specs and uh, you'll kind of see the B-roll that I took a little bit to, um, to kind of show you exactly what it's like to have this in real life. Um, pulling out the laptop. So to start it off, we're gonna be talking about the outer dimensions. The outer dimensions are 12 inches by 20 inches by 12 inches. So that's uh, 20 inches wide, 12 inches deep, and 12 inches height. They're quoting 11 by 20 by 10 inches for the inside dimensions. And they've also got some ample support to act as kind of a skeleton slash protection for your uh, expensive gear. They've got three removable pouches. I've got one on here right now. So that, that particular one, I just use it to carry all of my gimbal parts. They also have this bad boy, which um, you know you can put, I think I've used this one before for sound equipment. There's a little Velcro here where you can stick, you know, um, small sound recorders, any sort of sound recorders, pens, labs in here maybe. And they've got another one here with, uh, you know, uh, a bunch of slots for pens. And I believe there's a little, little slot here for whatever else you wanna find, a pack of gum or something. Uh, and they all come with these straps that, uh, that kind of strap onto the, the loops on the sides of the bag. What's next? LED light zippers, they've got in the inside panel, let me show ya. They've got these um, LED lights so that, you know, I, I personally love to work a lot in dark settings so, you know, I could use this. These have come in handy before for sure. What's next? Fully padded interior, okay. So uh, I've already talked about that to act as a skeleton, removable rain dust cover. That you actually won't see in the B-roll because it's sitting right at the very bottom so your camera will kind of sit on top of it. It's made very convenient, but it's nice because it can fit the whole bag in case you have to transport out in the rain or the snow or whatever it might be. Uh, literally, this bag right now, the way it is set up, I had a commercial shoot yesterday and I've been wanting to make this video, so I was like, oh cool, it's pro properly packed already, so I might as well do this video right now. Um, so you'll see in some of the B-roll, uh, some of the other features, like the side pockets. This side pocket, I normally keep my power solutions, power bar, so that I can charge stuff on set. The, the other side pocket, right now I've got the monitor in, uh, and just in the little pouch. Over here at the front, as you can see, they have two zipped up pockets, one, at the very front, I keep all of kind of my small, small stuff that I just throw randomly in there, stuff like this, because my face gets oily on set and sometimes I need to wipe it off. Stuff like that, you know what I mean? And up on this bigger front pocket, I keep some of my bigger parts like shoulder rig parts, whether that be this little Z connector to offset the screen from my shoulder. Sometimes I've thrown in uh, my actual shoulder rig handles in there. 
just random parts. Um, as you can see on the inside here, we've got the four zipper pockets uh, that kind of keep the different accessories that you want to throw in there. This one I've dedicated strictly for audio. So over here I've got my two labs, my two task cam units, and I've got a, a power bank because because it fits. You literally could make this as clean as you like. And th that's the best thing with this particular bag is just keeping organized. I mean, as a cinematographer, we're always kind of throwing stuff on and taking stuff out. And so this is a good way to be able to keep track of the things that you take off your rig or the things you need to add onto your rig. Over here on this side, I've got um, kind of all of my monitor and wiring power systems like HDMI cables and the DTAP cable to my monitor, that kind of stuff. Down here, I've got a, a whole whack of batteries and um, you know, I sometimes I load this up with the LPE6 batteries depending on the day. Sometimes I'll have just the Sony NPF style batteries on here. And then over here, just again, another pocket. So I keep like my rechargeable batteries on there and stuff like that. Let's get down to the best part of this whole bag is where you actually fit the camera. As you can see, there's ample space to be able to fit your full rig. Like, look, I'm gonna pull this out. And right now, this rig is set up with a matte box, an anamorphic lens, a follow focus, the cage itself, the Blackmagic Pocket 4K camera, and the V-mount plate and the V-mount battery with rails. And it's just, I could transport everything without having to take anything apart. This is literally the best thing to happen to me because I used to have to, you know, take it apart, try to fit it in a backpack or even trying to fit it in a Pelican case. It's just, it wasn't fun getting back to set. You know what I mean? And I could have a mic on here right now, but I've got the mic right here. So uh, you guys can hear me loud and clear because this GH5 um, mic is not gonna do the job. But uh, yeah, so being able to transport with this guy in this bag is just literally the best thing. What else do I have in here right now? Right now I've also got this little uh, case where I've got a couple different lenses and uh, matte box rings and stuff like that. So I've got a, an 85 in here right now and in here, just to kind of separate the two lenses so that it's not plastic on plastic, material on material, I put it in the bag. I've got my Olympus 12 to 40 in here. So this this pouch right here has actually been pretty multi-purpose. I don't even know where I got it from, but I've used it for my monitor and the HDMI cable and everything like that. But for this particular shoot, I wanted to bring these two extra lenses. So I just put them in there and and it still packs in the in the big space of the bag. It won't close. And last but not least in here, I've got my iPad. My iPad is a, you know, it's nice and sleek. It's small, it's thin. Uh, I keep shot lists in here. I use it to monitor wirelessly. I've kept scripts in here for short films, feature film type productions. It's just, a, it, it's just cool to, have you know what I mean like I have this at home sitting on my living room ottoman and I might as well bring it to set to be able to to avoid having to carry paperwork or you know uh, monitoring with with the client and and everything it's just it's so useful having this on set so it's so nice it's so small and everything just fits so nicely and on the back here as you can see there's a zipped up pocket where I keep my slate and my data color spider uh, whatever it's called color card and white balance so um, you know just in case I do need to match two different cameras rocking the GH5 and the black magic 4k as you can see this thing is literally the best thing I don't know of very many cinema camera bags there are but I remember looking and shopping for some at the time and um, they're quite expensive. This is very, very reasonable. I think right now it's on for $273.90 Canadian dollars, which is like $2 American. So all you Americans that are watching this, you guys should go check it out. The one thing I do love about the company Shape is that they back everything with their lifetime warranty. This bag I've had probably for about, I don't even remember, probably close to when they first came out. I can't remember exactly when. Um, if I do, maybe I'll look it up in my emails and I'll flash the date right here. But uh, I actually had a 
an issue with my first bag where the zipper um, got caught in a piece of the fabric on the side. I sent them a quick email and like a week later, they sent me a new one with the, with the pouches and everything like that. So they're a great company. They're based out of Montreal. So I love being able to support a Canadian business because Team Canada, woohoo! Some of the things that I don't love about it is that there's not really a way to bring lenses in other than like a separate pouch. I guess you can like take a, another lens divider type thing from a backpack or something and stick it in there. But to be able to have that uh, pouch maybe to, uh, to include with the set is, would be, would be a good addition. Other than that, everything has been so awesome. Literally everybody that's seen this bag in action has been very, very impressed with it and it makes them want to buy it, which is dope because this video is actually sponsored by no one but me, um, Shape, if you're watching this. Holla at your boy, Vancouver, Canada. What is up? <laughs> I'm just kidding. But yeah, this bag has just been uh, the best tool to have. I love prepping it. I love organizing it. it. And it doesn't always look the same. I mean, the camera's always the same. Um, but I've also been able to carry two different cameras in this bag. They were taken apart, mind you, but with, with the proper division, 36 liters to be able to fit in this thing is just, it's a lot. So, yeah, I think that's my video. I feel like I've been blabbing at this camera for a little while, just kind of spitting facts as best as I can. Um, I hope it was clear. I hope you learned something new. I hope you learned about this product and maybe you want to go check them out. Check them out, shapewlb.com. That's where I found the bag. They're very good customer service. Everybody I've talked to over there has been great and their email um, communication is awesome. Unlike some of the other companies out there, you know, that take time to really get back to you, Shape was really on it to provide me with the customer service that, um, that they stand by. And that about wraps it up for this video. There's not much to it. Um, you know, this has been one of my most favorite tools as I've, kind of um, found my way into a filmmaker slash cinematographer slash director um, in the past year and a half. Times have really changed. I mean, I started this channel as an actor, um, as a vlogger, mind you, and um, 2020 was able to help me with learning a lot of stuff behind the camera, and I'm very, very grateful for that. Um, I know 2020 wasn't everybody's best year, but I hope it was a, a year of learning for you, and I hope 2021 is going to be even greater. But um, yeah, if you liked the video, hit the like button, subscribe if you haven't, because you know, am I even at 100 subscribers yet? I don't think so. Help me get to 100 subscribers, guys. At least, please? No? Thanks. See you at the next video. Thank you.